How are you guys doing? Welcome back uh, to another Icon Moment. So we've got ourselves Miroslav Klosa. Um, so yeah, I haven't properly used Miroslav Klosa ever. But uh, yeah, I mean, honestly, just looking at it from the face of it, I'll be honest, he looks very, very standard. Nothing really that stands out. I mean, maybe besides the aerial ability, he's definitely up there with some of the top aerial threats in the game. But otherwise... It's a very standard card. I mean, if you look up on YouTube, you know, Miroslav Klose highlights, I promise you like 90% of his highlights are going to be headed goals. You know, he was a master in that area. But yeah, it's a it's just a card I've never really been interested in using, to be honest. But uh, I think he does have the most goals in World Cup history, though, if I'm not mistaken. Is that true? I think that's true, right? So um, obviously, fantastic player. I watched a bit of him while he was also at Lazio. He was he was quite a good player. Um but I wish his card was just a bit better. But uh yeah, I mean a good good area to start with is the aerial ability, right? So he's got 98 jumping, 99 heading accuracy. He's also got that power header trait. So yeah, I mean he's a great threat in the air, very aggressive in attacking the ball and you know, if your playstyle suits where you like to get the ball into the box, I'm sure you will find a lot of success. So, like I said, he's definitely up there with some of the best aerial, um, you know, threats in the game. Um, and then other shooting, you know, he's got 95 finishing, 88 shot power. He's very clinical inside the box. Now he doesn't have any traits. So when it comes to his the the shooting the shot selection, it's going to be very standard. You know, he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. He only has 72 curve. Doesn't have outside the boot. Um, long shot taker so yeah he's he's like most of these strikers going to be very restricted inside the box that's where he's going to be most dangerous um, and then he's got that 93 volleys very good technique uh, when striking the ball um, and then you go to the 96 positioning right so this is an area I was actually quite underwhelmed with which might be very surprising to you considering of course that is one of his highest stats um, but let me explain my reasoning. So the first thing I will say is I experimented quite a bit. You know, I used him in one, even two, you know, two striker formations, and I also applied the stay central and stay forward instructions, because um, obviously with how his playstyle is, you want him in that box, right? So you don't want him obviously drifting wide. Um, you don't want him dropping deep. Um, but uh, yeah, here's a few things I did note. So the first thing is yes he did drop deep and he wasn't always available on the counter attack and obviously he doesn't have that extreme pace to catch up so that was very very frustrating um, another thing is that as i said um, despite the stay central i did notice he liked to drift into wide positions and obviously since he's not technically gifted uh, he's very you know when he is in those wide positions he is pretty useless you know he's he doesn't offer you um anything uh, with his skill set unfortunately um another thing is when you hit the byline for a cross with your winger you know he either runs to the near post at an angle where it's practically impossible to score from or he would just hold his run on the edge of the box instead of finding that space um to to go you know to to find to you know picking up those spaces to score so yeah that was also very frustrating another thing is that i felt like his runs were very straight very predictable they weren't dynamic um you know and i felt like he congested my creative players um by kind of i guess gravitating towards them if that makes sense so that's that was also really annoying um and then the last thing is i felt like going back to him not being extremely dynamic i felt like he was static um, particularly when driving centrally, maybe with my like attacking midfielder and oftentimes would fail to provide me with like an option or an outlet. So yeah, the positioning was just really underwhelming. And with a player like this and how he performs in game and translates in game, positioning is so, so important. So yeah, I was very disappointed in that area. Um, and then the passing very you know average again you know he's he doesn't have that consistency the accuracy um in the final third to pick out the pass all the time um 80 short pass 74 long pass um and then the mobility he's got 94 acceleration which is actually quite good 88 sprint speed um, but you know he's not gonna feel rapid 
and with the 83 agility 82 balance although he does have the lean body type you know he doesn't feel great on the turn a bit stiff and having the 85 ball control 84 dribbling as well considering those stats as well aren't great you know he technically he's just again just just extremely average you know he doesn't offer you much when he's on the ball and it's really really a card that's for me very one dimensional and if he's not scoring goals I feel like he's not much of a use so yeah for me honestly it's probably one I would personally avoid um, I feel like there are definitely better options if you like your big strikers um, or maybe not as quick maybe not the most meta of strikers I definitely feel like there are better options out there unfortunately but yeah that's that's gonna that's gonna be my review so please like of course subscribe comment down below who would like to see next and thank you for watching